Do I play Elder Scrolls Online? You know what? I've got a, a strange thing about Elder Scrolls Online. And if you've played it before, I think you'll probably agree with this. I love everything about Elder Scrolls Online. I love the lore. I love the graphics. I love the the general history. I love the way that the characters are built. I love the quest progression. I love the way that you can buy it once, known it forever. I love everything except playing it. What? It's it's super weird. Like on paper, it's everything I want in an MMORPG. I look at it and I'm like, that's the correct decision. That's the good decision. That's the right decision. That's the good decision. And then I play it and after like an hour I'm like, eh. I'm just gonna go to the gym instead. It's so weird. It's perfect on paper. And it just doesn't work for me as a long-term game. It Why? I wonder what expansions of Elder Scrolls Online he actually played, or how much time he's actually spent in Elder Scrolls Online, because I feel like with the way that he usually feels about monetization systems in the game, he probably wouldn't like how aggressive some of the marketing is for some of the stuff. I mean, I have put a buttload of hours into Elder Scrolls Online, and in spite of its flaws, it's still one of my favorite MMOs. But there are flaws with it that have prevented me from getting like really, really deep into it. It was really fun. Like, I honestly think it's the combat that really does change it. Yeah, it tries to be both a Bethesda and a, an MMO, and it's difficult to do that. I think it's, it's a good Bethesda game, but I'm not sure if it's a great MMO. It's really weird. I, I do think it comes down to the combat, and I do think it comes down to... I love the crafting in Elder Scrolls Online. I think the crafting is phenomenal. Yeah, I do, I do think too. it very much comes down to the... I have done... Basically, when I've played Elder Scrolls Online, I have a tendency to play that game like EVE Online. I don't know why, but <laughs> usually I spend a ton of time gathering and materials to craft. I craft glyphs from enchanting. I make spreadsheets about like profit margins and I go all the way all around the world to different vendors trying to get the cheapest materials so I can make huge profits and then I'll like once you have enough you can corner a market in some of the most high trafficked areas. That's how I usually end up spending my time in that game, which has been fun. Uh but as for the combat, <laughs> I, uh, I don't it, it feels like I don't know, maybe it's like the animations, I guess, feel kind of floaty. I don't feel like it has enough of a punch whenever you hit something. Combat. Like, if you change the combat around, it would be great, but they've pretty much invested so much time into this combat as it is now that um, I don't think they would ever change it. I'm not saying play ESO, but I'm... Um, yeah, I, I think everyone should try The Elder Scrolls Online because it makes a lot of good choices. It really does. There's, there's a hell of a lot of good choices in the game and I think everyone should at least try The Elder Scrolls Online. because it's I feel like some of the expansions uh, were a lot better than some of the other ones too. Like so, I feel like some of the expansions have a lot more content and better content than some of the other ones. And that seems to be a general opinion consensus in the community as well. Like Morrowind was pretty packed of stuff. But man, I feel like I don't hear a lot of hype about the expansions when they come out. Like you normally do about big MMO expansions. Like you hear about like Final Fantasy expansion, you hear about World of Warcraft expansion. But when Elder Scrolls Online has an expansion, usually like it comes and goes and I found out about it later. And I don't I don't hear a lot of like hubbub about it where it's just something you cannot avoid. I don't I wonder why that is. Without a doubt. But I find that it doesn't really capture me constantly because I'm a big fan of old school RPGs. A big, big fan. I mean, I'm playing we old know. school right now. I love old school RPGs. We know, Josh. Level, level scaling <laughs> for basically everything in ESO kind of makes the whole world feel somewhat flat. I like the experience when I'm playing an RPG and I find an enemy that I can't kill because they're super high level, or I find stuff that I can grind and like Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate, the old RPG on PC, one of my favorite games of all time. I love the fact that you can go and kill the Ankegs in Baldur's Gate from pretty much the start. They'll kill you, but you can try. And that's what I very much enjoy about the game. I enjoy being given the ability to try and fail. And I do just think that The Elder Scrolls Online 
feels very flat. Um, not that it's not worth your time. It's definitely worth your time. Mm. But it hasn't managed to enthrall or capture me from... It feels flat because of the one Tamriel thing. Or you can just go anywhere in the whole world and fight enemies. And I liked that because it gives you a lot of sense of freedom of... <clears throat> you can go anywhere you want to to level. <clears throat> uh, which is alt-friendly. But on the other hand... Um, I guess you... Well, sometimes they'll put in different zones <clears throat> that are harder. So, like, you will need to be higher level. You'll need to have better stuff to, to proceed in that zone. At least they did. I don't know if they still did that. But I remember Craglorn being fairly difficult. For me, I think it's worth playing to do, to go through a lot of the questing. A lot of the questing is fun, and it's all voice acted. So that's, that's pretty good. I liked a lot of the quests. But some of the story quests for different expansions were less good. Long time. In fact, the few games that have are Old School RuneScape, RuneScape 3 to a lesser extent, Final Fantasy XIV, and as much as I enjoy World of Warcraft, I am not always the biggest fan of raiding or dungeons. I'd like there to be variety, and I feel that while World of Warcraft does raiding and dungeons better than pretty much any other game, apart from maybe FF14, there's not enough variety in WoW to keep me around life-skilling-wise. Do you not enjoy trying to join a Mythic Plus group for an hour? Well, let's be real. If I was playing World of Warcraft, I'm pretty sure I could probably find somebody to carry me. True. <laughs> True. What is he doing in RuneScape? Like, what does he do in RuneScape all day? Like, what is the thing that keeps him coming back to RuneScape? Hey, I wonder if Josh will play Baldur's Gate 3 with me when it comes out. I'm so excited about that game because I've been playing the uh, Early Access and the Early Access is fantastic. I would love to play uh, Baldur's Gate 3. It's coming out in August, I think. Oh, that would be fun. You can do a co-op. Pretty sure. That would be really fun. What class do you like the most in Baldur's Gate 3? Druid, probably. Druid is overpowered. It was overpowered when I played it. Which I played it right when it came out for the early access. Hunter is also really good. Ranger. The Druid is just, there's so many different ways you can approach a fight. I played Sorcerer. Sorcerer is pretty good. Uh, but I think my favorite is going to be Druid just because it's ridiculous. It's just, it's stupid what you're allowed to do. You can turn into a bear and, uh, and climb a ladder. You can turn into a, to a bird, drop down on someone's head, and then turn into a bear. <laughs> you can be a spider. It's fun. It's really cool. 